Oke, okay, hello kawan-kawan semua. Kembali lagi bersama gue Rega Budi. Di video kali ini kita bakal mainin lagi Death Stranding, teman-teman. Kemarin kita baru aja mencoba untuk menyelamatkan si Emily dengan cara memeluknya, tahu Nah, sekarang kita bakalan cobain lagi ya. Gimana kalau misalnya kita tembak dia gitu ya? Oke. Okay. Kita bakal coba tembak dia, cuy. Ternyata kalau misalnya gue tembak, si Emily ini nembus, cuy. Nembus ternyata cuy Jadi emang mau gak mau harus gua peluk si Emily ini Kita dipaksa untuk memeluk dia Peluk Eh salah pencet gua Maaf Oke okay. Tapi ini kita udah lihat scene ini ya Oke jadi gua skip aja di sini cuy Kemana tuh sampai sini ya Kemana kita sampai di sini? Gua gak tau harus ngapain Make decision and bring this to an end Jadi kayaknya kita harus jalan-jalan lagi uh, Kayak waktu kemarin kita jalan lari-larian aja Gak jelas gitu Terus nanti tiba-tiba capek lagi si Sam-nya Ini udah muncul cuy End creditsnya Norman Reedus tuh ya Terus ada lagi Nanti nih Mars Mikkelsen Kalau gak salah udah ini gue inget banget dah Kemarin soalnya Lihat aja nih Mars Mikkelsen ya kan Oke okay, Gue bakal coba lalari anak itu terus Dulu Sampai Pagal si Sam Si Sam ini kasihan banget seriusan Dia Kemarin disuruh ngatur-ngatur bareng Lalarian Sekarang Disuruh Lalarian lagi ngejar Gak tau nih Gak apa gak jelas lah ya Semua ada Hidupnya tuh sedih banget kayak si Sam <SILENCIO> Oke okay. Kecapean sendiri cuy Akhirnya Gue gak bisa ngapa-ngapain lagi nih Seperti biasa Ya elah Masih lararin gue pak <SILENCIO> Wah bercanda ini game kurang ajar Kayaknya kita harus sampai end creditnya habis deh Lindsay Wagner tuh ya, terus ada lagi siapa Ntar, kayaknya sampai kan kreditnya benar-benar habis Oh enggak, udah, udah, udah Udah nih, nah akhirnya udah Aduh, kok Sam yang lari kok gue yang pegel ya <laughs> Kok gue yang pegel nih pegang larian tadi Quiet, and I'll tell you There is no time for questions When you were young, you used to have bad dreams You cried about them all the time The truth is Those weren't your dreams They were mine. For as long as I can remember, I've dreamt of the beach. Not just while sleeping, in my waking hours too. In my dreams, I watched the world end so many times. Countless past extinctions that decimated life on this planet. Again and again and again. At first, I didn't understand what I was seeing or why. And that wasn't the worst of it. There were other, more terrible dreams. Dreams of death and destruction. Of a massive extinction to come. Like this one. And Sumpah dah mimpinya serem banget nih. Si Emily dan si Sam. Stranding, as I have today. Oke, okay, kita suruh stand up lagi Lahan larian lagi, gue kurang ajar bercanda ini game sama gue udah sumpah dah Gue oh, cuma suruh larian doang, kurang ajar bener-bener Waduh, Hideo Kojima, woi Ini woy. game designer dan pemilik ceritanya nih Oke, okay. pegel lagi. Eh dong, apa lagi nih? Ya lah kagak, kurang aja. Sip, pegel lagi nih. Gue harus dua kali pegel dulu baru muncul sin. <laughs> kurang ajar pak. Kenapa gitu setelah larian? Oh apa tuh apa tuh apa tuh apa tuh apa tuh? The first operation. I was only twenty. I opened my eyes and found myself on the beach. Gua nggak bisa lihat. Nggak bisa gua zooming in. At the moment I came round, I was back in the hospital bed. I was split across two worlds. Bridget, my heart, 
and that one. Amelie, my car, and this. Somehow, the two of us managed to coexist. Soon, our ages began to diverge. Only Bridget's body got older, while the beach kept Amelie's the same. Rumit banget sumpah. So I came up with a story. Hey, <laughs> rumit sumpah. I told people that Amelie was my daughter, a daughter with a debilitating condition and an absent father. Look, Amelie. Um, is French, French of so. soul. Soul that's a lie. So, oh, am a lie. Oh, only me and the beach. Artinya gitu ya. Am a lie. Lie itu kan bohong. Curse in the beginning. But later, I started thinking. Maybe I can use this. I tried to find out more about the beach, because understanding the beach had to be the key to interpreting my visions of the future. Wah, menghilang lagi tu orang. Hebat pak, bisa menghilang gitu porongnya. Canggih emang si Amal itu. Canggih amat dah. Lari lagi pak gua pak ya Allah, ya Allah. Okey, sampai lagi, sin lagi cuy. Jadi gua ni lalarian seriusannya, tapi kayak keliling-keliling cuy. Jadi kayak gua lari ke tempat situ, tempat itu tu dah gua lewatin. Itu jangan lagi muter lagi, ke tempat ini lagi. Jadi gua, gua kayak muter-muter di tempat yang sama gitu ni. I realized the beach was connected to the world of the dead, which meant that somewhere out beyond it were the memories of time itself, including those of every organism that had ever lived. 4.6 billion years of biological history, a history that might even stretch back to the creation of the universe. The chiral network and everything that followed was born from my pursuit of that knowledge. By passing data through the beach, we were unbound by the restrictions of time. Simulations that would have taken years or more were simple and effortless. Everything that the Earth had lost and forgotten could be reconstructed and reclaimed. But shortly after we began our research, America saw its first void out. I thought I was running out of time, that my nightmares were becoming a reality. So I raced to complete the chiral network as quickly as possible. The past held all the answers. If only I could find a way to piece them together. A network that bridged our world and the beach. That might do it, I believed. So I started researching bridge babies. Children bound to the world of the dead. What causes an extinction entity to come into being? What was the reason for the previous five mass extinctions? The answers to those questions would tell me how to stop the sixth. I founded Bridges, more determined than ever to build a chiral network that would cover all of America. But the longer I fought my war against the inevitable, the weaker I became. My heart had cancer. The beach's punishment, maybe, for not playing along like a good little EE. -E. And then, just like that, my ha was gone. I couldn't finish what I'd started. So, I asked you to do it for me. And you did. You helped us complete the network. Helped us to reclaim everything the universe experienced from its inception to this moment. Every mystery was ours to solve, like this one. Once, there was an explosion. A big bang that gave birth to time and space. Thing is, it was more like a big fluke. All that matter and antimatter should have cancelled itself out, leaving nothing. But somehow, somehow a tiny speck of matter survived. Just enough. Enough to make this world and everything in it. A world that shouldn't be a world out of balance. Order inevitably gives way to chaos. Everything that lives must inevitably die. It's like the universe is trying to return us to the nothing we came from. 
Maybe the Big Five were its best attempts to finish us off. But somehow, life always managed to survive just enough. Enough to thumb its nose at the will of the cosmos. You know? I'm starting to think that extinction might be the key to overcoming total annihilation. It forces life to fight to survive, to endure, to exist. That's why the Big Five ultimately rekindled life instead of extinguishing it. From the ashes of the dead rise the living. Stronger and wiser. Inheritors of the legacy of existence itself. They defy the universe and refuse to surrender. They say, we're just getting started. Extinction is an opportunity. Okay. Sumpah rumit banget cuy ceritanya ini ya. Jadi tadi, jadi intinya sih si... Bridget, eh si apa si... Bridget adalah si Emily gitu ya kan. Terus... Ya pusing aja gitu, gua kira si Bridget tuh selama ini emak gua cuy ya Emak ternyata uh, kayak apa ya, mertua gitu ternyata, bukan emak bukan tapi mertua kayaknya Lebih ke mertua gua gitu kayaknya si Bridget tuh Gua pusing juga sama ininya Ceritanya ya, jadi Bridget tuh ternyata si Emily gitu ya kan selama ini tuh Tubuhnya ada di dunia nyata dan tapi ternyata, tapi kayak apa ya Ji, Bukan jiwa apa ya Ya pokoknya ji, semacam jiwanya gitu ada di dunia pantai ini di beach ya gitu ya apa lagi nih? Terus, saya cerita ya. Masih tak lagi, woi. Oh itu. I knew at once I'd made a mistake. I found your beach and looked everywhere for you. Sam, there you are. from death once and for all it's okay i know the way but in doing so i upset the fundamental balance between life and death i just wanted to save you entity it's my fate to lead our species to extinction but that moment you became part of that fate you became a repatriate and dooms started spreading my nightmares to others throughout the world it was me that got you and everyone with dooms into this not long after a death stranding occurred the dead clung to our world, and BTs used my beach to cross over and devour them, triggering more void outs. A catalyst that would set the world on a path to extinction. 
It was my duty to serve as a sacrifice, to wait and watch it unfold from this beach. That, or hasten the last stranding and end this slow death. Given these, my only options, I chose to end it quickly. But to trigger the last stranding, I needed you, a part of me. Here too. Sumpah ngantuk woi gue cuy Ini I would be able to witness extinction consummated with you <laughs> by my side But now that you're here There's another choice You can cut me off An EE -E doesn't have that option for itself But in my nightmares I saw another future One that you chose One where extinction is hope against total annihilation Masih jalan-jalan juga pegel gua ya Allah Sebel gua Pak Oke, udah muncul ini ya Udah muncul end credits cuy Apa? Apakah ini udah tamat? Coba aja ya dulu ya Oke, okay. lagunya habis, eh lagunya habis ya, lagunya habis sama tadi end credits juga udah habis ya, udah nggak ada lagi. Apakah game ini tamat? Belum kan? Oke. Udah kah? Amat kah? Reconic with the living Listen Sam I was the one that brought you and Cliff together again There was something I wanted you to know You were never abandoned And you're not alone. Don't you see, Sam? Clifford, nih tentang Clifford lagi nih. Oke. Okay. Ada suara si, ada suara si Bridget. Ada suara si Emily. Oke, okay, ini, ini, ini. Ini kah? Teman-teman. Di situ ada awal kita main death trending loh, ada yang pokoknya waktu awal main death itu ada begituan tuh. Gue ikutin ini ya. Stepnya ini ini gua rasa stepnya si Emily. Rr. Ada suara orang yang lagi ngomong lockne lockne berarti ini kita lagi coba disadari sama orang luar kayaknya deh. Kita kayak tertidur gitu juga. Ora ora. <laughs> hey, ora. Tuh ya, I see him. Tuh itu si si suara si Deadman tadi cuy. Wih, aneh cuy, malah tenggelam gua pak Operasi oh, sama gimana woi? Oh tuh 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 Ada si Bridget di sini. Ya bajunya putih, hitam, merah hari tadi ya, berubah-ubah terus warna bajunya cuy. Don't give up. You're still connected. Ada lima orang gitu, kayaknya itu itu si Brit, itu si Lockne, Deadman, Die Hardman, 
fragile Maksudnya Eh, satu lagi siapa tuh ya? Lockne, Deadman, Die Hardman, Fragile Satu lagi siapa? Oh, satu lagi si Hardman Hardman Gua rasa gitu sih maksud Maksudnya user connected tuh itu gua rasa Oke okay. Ada yang dari kita tadi ya? Oh, si Deadman yang dari kita cuy Kita masih lu Masuk Aneh aneh Oh uh, Sirunya biru cuy Kenapa biru bayinya oh, Oke okay. ini dia Itu berhasil coba gue skip skip dulu ya Oke okay, resume game For too long have okay. we lived as strangers to one another Divided by walls built to keep us safe. But now with the completion of the Cairo network, we may at last move forward as a people united. Today we come together to celebrate the birth of a new nation. A new nation for a new world. The United Cities of America. I once took an oath to support and defend the Constitution of the United States. And though that proud republic may be no more, we remain. And so, as your president, I hereby swear to support and defend you, the people. Let there be no more walls between us, nor masks to hide who no we are. No masks to hide who we are. Tapi dia pakai topeng, Pak. Oh, dibuka, dibuka. Gue kira agak dibuka ya. Oke, okay. akhirnya The Hardman. Face reveal, teman-teman. <laughs> Kayak youtuber nih, face reveal ya kan memunculkan wajah. Let there be a new America. An America where we can face one another. Where we can speak our minds and open our hearts. Now, the old ways die hard. But I believe, my fellow Americans, that we have the strength and the courage to rise above our past and embrace Cakep banget tuh cewek dah, si Lockne dah The death stranding is a part of that past An enduring shadow A constant reminder of what could have been Si Hartman, si Hartman masih aja mati ya itu ya today is testament Not to the greatness of any one individual But to our capacity to come together To the bonds between us to our collective greatness. All things must come to an end, ourselves included. But as long as we savor each moment, find joy in the promise of tomorrow, embrace hope and reject despair, we will endure. President Bridget Strand and her daughter, Samantha, America Strand, sacrificed everything in their pursuit of hope that we, the people, might be whole again. Jadi kayaknya di sama si Hartman ini dipura-purain cuy. Not here today. Bahwa mereka tuh ibu dan anak cuy. Ya. Padahal mereka tuh orang yang sama tuh si Emily sama si Bridget. But we find comfort. Mungkin biar orang-orang gak gak pada merasa aneh gitu, jadi kayak di tip dibohongin gitulah, buat kepasuan gitulah. We will always remain connected. There is another hero in this story, one whose achievements seem destined to go unrecognized. Sombong, Sam sombong, lu Sam. Oh, enggak, enggak. That person without whom we would not be here. 
Uh, the name is unimportant. But you know who I mean. And for that unsung hero, I have a message. It was you who brought us together. You who made us whole again. And while you and I will eventually pass on, Pembong, Sam Pembong lu. <laughs> Tired of being the unsung hero? No, I'm done is all. She's gone. Come on, wait. There's something I need to tell you. Huh? This doesn't bother you anymore? <laughs> well, that's great. Si, si Sam udah nggak takut dipegang sekarang, cuy. Wouldn't you like to know how we brought you back from the beach? We were going to use the doll, but didn't have one handy. Which is when I remembered something else. Not what I think it is. Yes. What could be more connected to Amelie's beach than President Strand's umbilical cord? Hmm. Hartman thought that's why she left it with me in the first place. Unfortunately... It didn't work. Yeah, she'd already cut her beach loose. It was just... gone. We didn't know if that meant she dragged you into the great beyond, or sent you to some other beach. We were really racking our brains. Hartman and Mama split up and started searching every beach you might feasibly have washed up on. We looked for a month with absolutely nothing to show for it. A month? A month on the outside. How long on the inside? Trust me when I tell you, you don't want to know. But don't worry. We found no signs of accelerated aging. In the end, this is what led us to you. Just when we were about to give up, Die Hardman reminded us about the revolver. So we tried to follow it, and it led us to a far corner of your own beach. And bingo, there you were. Mama made visual contact first. She was able to see you from her vantage point on the other side. She informed Lachna via their connection and Hartman confirmed your location during his subsequent NDE. The plan was for Fragile to, in essence, slingshot Lou and me to your position so we could rescue you. But it's not so easy to send multiple individuals to another person's beach for an extended period of time. And that's where the umbilical cord came in. We wove these from President Strand's DNA. They serve as a single knot that binds us all. The president must have known all of this would happen. Ironic, isn't it? The gun that set this whole mess in motion ends up being the key to saving you. Hmm. Amelie, she said it had another purpose. Not a weapon, but a lifeline. A stick that became a rope. I suppose that's one way of putting it. Oh, Sam. You have no idea how long I've been waiting to give you a hug. Got something else to tell you. Top secret. It's about Cliff. Cliff! Bibi's mother's name was Lisa Bridges. Cliff's common-law wife. Lisa Bridges? Uh, uh, now... Cliff was killed by a man identified in the records only as John. Former U.S. Special Forces. Quite good at it by all accounts. Later appointed as an aide to the president who used him for most of her wet work. The records go on to state that he vanished after Cliff's death. A warrant was put out, but he was later found dead. Turns out some people die harder than others though. Dear John donned a mask and reappeared with a new identity. But you can't fool the chiral network. We restored the old records, and Mama hid them deep in the archives. You're the only one besides us with access privileges. Take a look if you're so inclined. But don't say I didn't warn you. The President's got some dirty, dirty laundry. Waduh, mampus kan ketahuan kan? Lagian bego rapa, rapa tadi tengah jalan woi. We'll talk later. Ini orang berdua rapa tadi tengah jalan mestinya nyumput dulu kayak di mana kita nyumput ya. Ketahuan lah. 
mana banyak pasti ada CCTV juga kan tempat kayak gini tuh. <laughs> Dari Hartman kayak jahat nih cuy. Sam, perlu John, ha? Jontor. <laughs> Sam tenggel, Sam. I don't nah, expect Sam. you to forgive me. Berang ajar si John. But would you hear me out? Oh, curhat ya, curhat, curhat ya. I killed oh, Captain aku Clifford dia. Unger. I would tell you I did it for America, for love of country. But I didn't. I did it for her, because I loved her with all my heart. She was everything to me, everything. Now I'm not trying to make excuses. I just want you to know that not a day's gone by when I haven't thought about it. Time didn't help, or the mask. Please, let me finish. He. The captain saved my life. You know why they call me Die Hartman. Because he wouldn't let me die. He brought my sorry ass back home every time. And I loved him. As much as I loved her. <laughs> And when he stared me down, that ghost, I knew he was here to kill me, to make it right. And why shouldn't he? <laughs> why didn't he? He couldn't save his, his kid, his baby. And that's what brought him back. I guess when he, he saw I was trying to do my part for America. He remembered who he was and he forgave me. God! But I don't deserve it, God damn it! There is no atoning for what I've done. Woi ngus lapar lap lingisnya woi. is the next best thing maybe he brought me back from the beach for a reason one last time he wanted me to do this to keep on being die hardman no He didn't. Nobody wants a president who acts like they're immortal. And if you're not scared of death, how can you value life? And life is pretty fucking fragile right now. And yeah, the old ways die hard. But that's what's gonna have to happen if we're gonna come together and build a better America. 
That gun won't help you here. That's her words, not mine. Jadi si Dewi Hartman ini gue rasa sebenarnya nggak jahat ya, niatnya baik ya sebenarnya. Cuma gue nggak ngerti kenapa dia bunuh si Clifford. Gue nggak ngerti, ngerti dia karena dia cinta sama si Bridget ya si ini tuh. Karena si John ini cerita sama si Bridget kayaknya jadi dia nggak bunuh si Clifford. Maksudnya kenapa gitu ya? Kenapa kalau dia cinta sama seseorang, kenapa dia harus bunuh seseorang? <tuk> uh, gue masih belum paham. Coba lihat dulu ya. Ini game udah muncul trik end credit scene-nya ya. End credit udah muncul. Tulisan-tulisan tadi udah muncul tulisan-tulisan cuman ternyata belum tamat cuy, masih ada lagi ini. Poor thing was never truly alive. Not in this world at least. The decommissioning order finally came through. Can't risk necrosis. The body can't stay here. I thought You might want to take care of it. You could try taking Lou out of the pod just to see what happens. But that would be in direct contravention of an executive order. And there are laws about that kind of thing. Now that we're a nation. I just couldn't bring myself to do it. But if the alternative is defying the president, I can't do that either. Not me. All right. I'll go to the incinerator. Before you leave, I'd like to check something quickly. I just took your cufflinks offline. In that state, there'd be nothing to stop you from removing them. If you did, the UCA wouldn't know where you were or how to find you. You'd be invisible. When you use the incinerator, You'll be reconnected to the network automatically. I trust you'll remember what I said. Right, absolutely. Silunya entah kenapa kayak mati gitu, cuy ini tuh. Jadi kita harus anterin dia ke incinerator tempat pembakaran mayat ya. Gua nggak tahu silu ini bakal dibakar atau kayak gimana ya sedih juga gue dengernya. Dan si Sam di sini yang bakal melakukan itu cuy. Katanya si lu bisa dibong, bisa dikeluarin katanya kata si, kata si Deadman. Dan di sini si Sam di, dibikin offline ya si Kavling saya jadi biar nggak kedetek sama UCA oh, gitu lah oh, bridge. Wow, 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 fragile, kangen banget gua dah. How's the weather? Don't think you'll be needing an umbrella. I decided to follow my father's dream after all. Don't worry, I won't get mixed up with any terrorists this time. UCA's got my back. We're the first private delivery company to get the official approval. Sounds like you're moving up in the world. Congratulations. Thanks. Wait, there's something I have to tell you. I didn't shoot Higgs. Couldn't pull the trigger. So I let him choose. Death or eternal solitude on the beach. Fair enough. You never did like breaking things. That's right. I find and fix what's broken. And reconnect. I'm fragile. But not, not that, that fragile. fragile. <laughs> Wanna come work for me? 
Could use a man like you. Kita warin gawe. <laughs> Same as before. What isn't? But we're still here. Kita warin gawe ini si Sam. We're still chugging along. Not everyone. Not me. Come on. You put America back together, didn't you? Doesn't mean there's a place for me. I've got no ties to anyone or anything. I might as well be dead. I felt like that when we first met in the cave. I still do. Don't act like you're the same person. You've learned how to touch, to feel. You've connected with people. With us? Everything I touch, I lose. What do goodbye fragile? Sam. Nangis dia. Gila gila. Ini kayaknya misi misi terakhir kita. Kita bakal nganterin si Flu kayaknya cuy. Yang di mana ini sangat menyedihkan sekali. Come on, Lou. One last yeah, delivery. Yeah, okay. One last delivery. Ya kan ini benar-benar menyak apa ya? Episode terakhir Lou. Oke, okay. ini game keren banget serius aja ceritanya cuy. Cuman walaupun rumit ya dari kata apa ya bahasanya tuh berat tuh cuy bahasanya tuh sulit dicerna gitu ya. Dan tapi ini game keren banget. Ini misi terakhir, lay bibi terus wah. Entah gue apa gue sedih banget serius di sini. Oke, okay. uh, teman-teman di video kali ini kayak sampai segitu. Gue bakal lanjutin lagi uh, lusa kayaknya lusa baru gue lanjut lagi. Kayaknya ini udah lusa ini benar-benar tamat. Kalau kemarin tuh ending kema waktu video sebelumnya tuh yang yang sebelumnya tuh ending cuman itu ending bad ending ya. Di video ini tadi kita cuman gua kira udah udah ending gitu di video kali ini tapi ternyata belum. Ini masih ada sin ah, bukan sin masih ternyata cuman sin-sin doang ngejelasin tentang game inilah apalah semuanya tadi ya. Udah mulai jelas game ini. Nah, sekarang kita harus nganterin Silu terakhir entar kita uh, bakal mengistirahatkan Silu sih. Entah kenapa gua sangat sedih banget sini seriusan. Ya sedih sih gua soalnya gua main game ini selama banget dan Gua bersama Silu gitu dari waktu itu. Aduh ternyata Silu mati. Kurang ajar teman-teman. Oke lah pokoknya di video kali ini sampai segitu dulu teman-teman. Kita bakal lihat lagi kelanjutannya nanti. Terima kasih banyak buat kalian semua yang sudah nonton video gua. Jangan lupa untuk kasih like, comment, share dan juga subscribe channel gua. Terima kasih banyak. See you next time.